welcome back to my channel. Sebastian. I record here. It's been so long. It's been like a month, maybe over. I apologize. But I'm back. So yeah, I decided to grace you guys with a daytime glam look, which is this right here. Um, I used the Lorac Pro Palette on the eyes because it's Sabom.com. If you don't have it, it is definitely a makeup must-have. Um, if you haven't seen my makeup must-have haul or my beauty must-have haul, <laughs> my beauty must-have haul, um, go and check out my last video. I'll link it down below, like usual. It's what I usually do. It's just a haul of everything that I thought every girl, young lady, woman needs in their beauty slash makeup collection. So check that out when you get a chance. It's just a pretty neutral, was that a bug? It's just a pretty neutral eye and a nice kind of double toned nudish lip. You will. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but my hair is straight. I haven't worn it straight in like six months because the set I was on for this really exciting show, um, my hair had to be curly, so I had to wear it curly and I was getting tired of being curly, but now it's straight. I got my hair done earlier today and now I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Again, sorry it's been so long. I'll try not to go a whole nother month. If I'm looking up, it's because I have a new camera and I can actually see myself this time. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that pimple. Ooh. It's the most stubborn sucker I've had in a long time. So I went for kind of like a brown smoky eye, but for me it's something a little bit more daytime wearable, daytime appropriate, and daytime glamorous, because I wouldn't usually rock this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, this is more glammed up, I think. I smoked out the eyes a little, the bottom line, lash line with a little bit of uh, sable from the Lorac Pro Palette. Instead of going for a black line, eyeliner, which is I think is more nighttime appropriate on the bottom lash line, I went for more of a nudish, creamish, oh my God. I went for more of like a nudish, creamish color. It really makes the eyes look nice and bright and wide. I mean, my eyes are huge already. I don't really need them any wider, but like I said, to me, it's just a little bit more daytime appropriate. Um, so yeah, just keep watching if you want to see how I created this look. First things first, I need some awesome music to listen to when I'm doing anything. This time it happened to be Phoenix 1901. I love that song. So I go in first with my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and I apply it to my T-zone because that's where my pores are ginormous and that's where I get oily and that's where my humongous pimple is. Next I take my Physician's Formula BB Cream which you know I love and I apply it with my fingers all over my face and actually my fingers is the best tool for applying it so I just go ahead and blend it in. And please don't forget to hit up that neck. We don't want two different color skin tones going on. Hit up those edges too, girl. Don't miss those. Next, I'm gonna take my NYX Dark Circle Concealer, which is pretty much a dark circle corrector, and apply some under my eyes. Then I'm gonna take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and cover up my dark circles even more. Remember to use your ring finger when applying anything under your eyes because supposedly it applies the least amount of pressure. And with the rest of the concealer on my hands, I'm just gonna use that to lightly highlight the rest of the high points on my face. And then with a damp beauty blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything in. So at this point, I know I look like ghost face killer, but I promise you everything oxidizes to match my skin tone. Taking this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which I'm sure you all have seen, I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up under my eyes even more. Um, I like this area pretty bright. Yeah, I'm a dork. And then with a damp beauty blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out even more. And with the rest of the product that's on the sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face once again. Um, bridge my nose, forehead, 
my jawline to bring out my cheekbones a little bit more and also my chin. With this e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder, I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer under my eyes to stop it from creasing because that is the last thing we want is creasy under eyes. Then with my favorite powder, which is the L'Oreal True Match and a fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and set all of my makeup so it stays in place and again, it'll be closer to my skin tone. This step also keeps my face nice and matte and provides a little extra coverage at the same time. Also notice I'm not setting my under eye with this powder because I want that area to stay nice and bright. For that sun kiss glow that we all love, I'm going to use this Rimmel bronzer and bronze up my face to bring some dimension and life back into it. Also a little bit of color. So I'm going to go over my cheekbones, around the edge of my forehead, and down to my neck just to provide that beautiful I just got a tan look, even though we didn't. <laughs> Oh, and I'm using a Real Techniques fluff, fluff, bleh, fluffy brush to do this. If you haven't tried Real Techniques brushes, I suggest you do. They're inexpensive and they work marvelously, darling. Sweeping the bronzer right under your jawline and right under your chin is going to slim that area down some. So if you have a little bit of a double chin, this will help calm all that down, okay? <laughs> Now it's finally time to fix whatever eyebrows I have left. Um, I actually did a full eyebrow tutorial from start to finish, the products I use and how I shape them. I'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys. So I'm the type that's like easily distracted and awesome song came on. It's by Fitz and the Tantrums and it's called Out of My League. If you haven't heard it, go Google it, YouTube it, whatever. I promise you, you'll love it too. So I guess the song came on that just killed my vibe and I had to change it right away. Hashtag good music only. Eyebrows on Flizzy. Just kidding. <laughs> now on to the blush. Um, this one is by Milani. I forget the color. I'll link it down below like I do everything else. And we're just, oh, there it is, matter of fact. And we're just going to warm up our face and look like we're actually blushing, even though we're not. Well, maybe you are. I'm not. I don't know. So this powder is like five shades deeper than my skin tone, but I'm actually going to use it to contour my nose. My nose is a little bit wide for my taste, but I'm not the type to go out and get a nose job. Uh, maybe not right now. I can't tell you about the future. Um, yeah, so I like to contour my nose just to slim it down just a tad. Then I'm just going to run this stippling brush over my nose just to blend that in. For that healthy glowing from within look, I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite highlighter at the moment, which is Opal by Becca. It's a beautiful champagne highlight. Look at that highlight. Girl, look at that glow. I'm going to add some above my eyebrows to lift the face up a little bit. Also run some down the bridge of my nose and my Cupid's bow. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids for eyeshadow with this NYX eyeshadow base. It actually does help my eyeshadow to stop from creasing and brings out the color a lot more. And I'm applying this with a synthetic flat shader brush that I got at Walmart, I think. 
all the shadows I'm going to use are going to come from this palette right here. So first with a flat shader brush, I'm going to take the color cream and go ahead and highlight right under my brow bone. Then with this blending brush I got from Flower Beauty at Walmart for like dirt cheap, I'm going to take the color taupe and apply this in the crease as our transition color. For my skin tone, it's the perfect transition color, but I think it would work on pretty much anybody. And I'm blending this color from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye using a windshield wiper motion. With the MAC 217 brush, which I think everybody needs, I'm going to go ahead and take the color Sable and apply this to the outer V and the crease, right in the crease of my eye, not going above my crease too much. To blend that out, I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk blending brush. She always has the cutest prints and I promise you, it gets me every single time. Next, I'm going to pick up the color Champagne with a flat shader brush and apply that all over my eyelid. Um, I think for a daytime glam look, a shimmery lid is a must. So yeah, just go ahead and pack that on there. Picking up the color Nude, I'm just going to go ahead and add that to my tear ducts to open up my eyes and make them look nice and bright and wide. Picking up Sable again on an angled eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go ahead and run this color right under my lash line just to add some definition to the eyes without smoking them out too much. Again, we want to keep it daytime appropriate. My favorite liquid liner at the moment is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. Okay, I'm distracted again. Uh, this time by Don't Panic by Coldplay. Did I mention I love Coldplay? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and line my top lash line. I am going to do a winged out cat liner because, I mean, who doesn't love a winged out cat liner? <laughs> And ladies, please take your time with the liquid liner. Um, it does take a little bit of practice and patience. So just take your time and eventually you will get it. With this Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner in the color Nude, which I think is the perfect daytime liner, I'm going to go ahead and layer this on my bottom lash line. And I mean layer it heavily so you can get the true color out of it. Picking up cream again on this angled eyeshadow brush, also from Real Techniques, I'm going to go ahead and set that eyeliner that we just applied. This helps it to stay in place all day long without disappearing like a lot of the nude liners do. Then I'm just going to blend that out with a little bit of sable again, right under that bottom lash line. With this L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara, I'm going to go ham, ham hammer time on these eyelashes. Um, I probably put about two to three coats on my top and bottom lashes just to make them really stand out, especially because I don't wear falsies. I don't really feel like I need them. Um, so I just go ahead and heavily coat my top and bottom lashes. But if you're a falsie wearing girl, by all means, go ahead and apply those lashes, girl. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of Sable on the 217 brush and deepen up that outer V to my liking. Now I'm going to line my lips with this L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in the coral, in the coral, in the color coral. It's kind of nudish and I'm going to go ahead and create sort of an ombre nude lip. Then with Myth by MAC, a uh, very popular color, it's very opaque actually, I'm going to go ahead and pop that just in the center of my lips. Doing this kind of ombre nudish lip actually gives the appearance of bigger, fuller lips. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop this gloss right in the middle, which is Tiramisu by NYX, also to make the lips look a little bit more plump, as if I needed it, but it looks good.
When I'm done applying my makeup, I just take a fan brush and dust off whatever extra fallout or powder ended up on my cheeks or my nose from my eyeshadow or whatever. Yeah. This L'Oreal makeup setting spray is brand new, so I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish the look off with this to lock everything in place. Um, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it after a few more uses. And this is the finished product, you guys. Um, I think it's perfect for daytime because, again, we have a nude waterline. We didn't do any heavy contouring, and it doesn't look like we're going to the club when it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you come up with a beautiful daytime glam look. Um, if you do decide to recreate this look, please hashtag Jamiel Laura, which sounds kind of kooky and hard to spell, but I will put it down below. Um, my Instagram will be down below as well, so make sure you hashtag me, my Facebook, my Twitter, all that is in the description box below. Also, all the products that I use will be in the description box as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you out in some kind of way. Until the next video or until the next time, you guys, how beautiful though is this color right here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Is this not beautiful for spring? My crooked finger. Anyway, um, so yeah, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Love you, bye.